what is going on guys nameless here and today we're going to be going through all of the settings that i run these are tailored for me and the specs that are on my pc but i think they will run good for most of you guys as well now let's just get right into the video first things first i use a 1440p monitor uh, for those of you out there that want that extra resolution want to see more clarity in game switch to 1440p you'll be able to see people way better on the map and further uh in warzone as well so go ahead and make that change if you haven't done so yet it is so much better but let's go into the settings and let's get through them all uh because i'm running like 160 to 200 frames with 1440p if you play in 1440p it's going to drop your frames by about 50 to 70 so if you're on 1080 and you run these settings you'll be getting like 250 frames it'll be a amazing so let's go into graphics first and foremost you have to play in full screen exclusive that's the first setting that you want to run moving on down i have a 144 hertz monitor so i play in 144 uh 1440p for me uh dynamic resolution off aspect ratio automatic v-sync off obviously uh scrolling down most of the stuff's going to be basically default in the display category it'll get interesting when you move over to quality now let's move over to quality uh, custom obviously this setting will get changed when you get off and on the game sometimes so make sure you automatically change or that you change that back to 100 each and every time that you get on if it does get messed up uh, this is a new feature called upscaling slash sharpening it's fidelity cas basically it's this new technology that enhances the image that is on your screen so it looks beautiful i think this is amazing that they rolled this out and most people are going to want to run fidelity fx cas as they're upscaling you could switch over to dlss or something like that but you'll get more frames but it won't look as good and i just do not think that it's worth it uh, if you're pulling over 100 frames uh when you're in fidelity that is fantastic run that it's gonna look great uh if you're getting grain in your game it's probably because you're on sma t2x when you switch over to filmic in this game it gets rid of all the grain that you see on your screen so go ahead and change that if you have it anti-aliasing on normal video memory scale on 90 if you're getting hitching in your game like these little pauses it could be because this is on 90 so move that down to 80 i have mine on 90 and it works just fine but i know some people are getting that issue moving down texture resolution keep that on normal uh basically also these details and textures this will be where you get lower or higher frames so that's why typically a lot of these are going to be on low um if you're more of a competitor you want to go pro you're in challengers put basically everything here on low if you want to compete get high frames but still not forfeit the beauty that is modern warfare 2 follow along with my settings so texture resolution on normal anti-stropic on high nearby level of detail low then low short for clutter draw low particle low quality level very low excuse me bullet impacts and sprays off shader quality on medium if you want more frames turn this to low tessellation off terrain memory minimum on demand texture streaming off uh, and then moving on down, you can see I have low, low off, uh, shadow lighting. This will be another thing that heavily affects your frames. Uh, I keep this on normal. You can turn this on low if you want more frames uh, and then off, low, medium, low, off for ambient occlusion, screen space reflections off, static reflection low, weather grid volumes off because who cares about the rain. Uh, low latency, you definitely want that off. And then you want depth of field, world uh, and weapon motion blur off and then film grain on zero. Uh, these settings your game will just look fantastic uh, i mean those are basically how you're going to get the most fps um, and you can play around with some of the shader ones if you want your or with some of the texture ones if you want your game to look a little bit more clear and these are the other settings in the view i play in 110 most of the pro players are going to be in about 100 to 105 so test around what you like uh, affected is what i plan if you want a little bit more zoom put it into independent uh, and then other than that these are basically the settings that i run uh, in terms of controller settings have a couple TikToks on these. If you want to check that out, go to my TikTok. It'll be in the description below. But also here are the settings. I'll run through them quickly for you guys in this video as well. I play in dynamic as do all the other pro players. Uh, tactical sprint, uh, single tap sprint is what I play on. Uh, and other than that, everything else is basically default. I play on 6.6 sensitivity with a 1.0 multiplier. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So uh, if you need better settings, go ahead and rewatch this video, pause it where you needed it and adjust from there. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Leave a like and follow for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.